Hey Google, turn on the studio lights. You got it, turning the studio lights on. Yeah, it's still not old yet. Yo, 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 welcome back to the channel. Today, I wanna show you my three favorite transitions using Adobe Premiere Elements and how you can use them to make your videos look even better. So if you're new to the channel, my name is Travis and I love to film videos about DIY projects that I do around the house, usually including some assembly of Ikea furniture. I love to share unboxings and give a quick review in my opinion of new products that I use for filmmaking and photography. And if I go someplace cool, I'm definitely going to take the camera along and do a little bit of a vlog on it. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button below and ring the little bell so you're notified when I upload new videos. So let's open up the laptop and I'm going to show you my three favorite transitions using Adobe Premiere Elements. The first transition on my favorite list that I'm going to share with you today is called Fade to Black. Fade to Black is an excellent transition to use when you're moving from one scene to the next and you want your audience to understand that there's a break in the two scenes but you don't want them to really notice it. So the way this effect works is it will fade out your first scene show your audience a black frame, and then fade into your next scene. So the way to use this effect is head over to the right hand side of your screen on your Adobe Elements Premiere program, click on your transitions, and then type in fade to black. You'll see here on the right hand side, you have your fade to black. You wanna drag that and place it between your two scenes. If you wanna see any of the extra little things that you can do with the effect, you want to double click on the effect. Sometimes it helps if you zoom in on your timeline so that you can actually click on that little transition bar that shows up between the two clips. If you click on that, you will see here you have the option to place it in between the two scenes. If when you drag, drug, drag, if when you brought it over, you didn't happen to place it between the two, you can change that here. And this is where you want it between two scenes. Again, a great effect when you're moving from one scene to another scene. Let's talk about my second favorite effect in Adobe Premiere Elements. This effect is called a cross dissolve. Opposite of how I use the fade to black, the cross dissolve I use when I'm transitioning in between the same scene. So if I'm doing something like I am right now and I'm talking to you and I'm stitching two clips together because maybe I burped in between or made a mistake because I usually don't script this stuff. It just kind of comes off the top of my mind and there's a little editing afterwards that might be needed. So you'll often see a cross dissolve. And what a cross dissolve will do is if it's a hard cut between the two frames because maybe I moved my head too much and I was over here and then back here and you can just, the user sees there's that hard cut. You don't want that. You want it to look a little bit more polished. You can use the cross dissolve. So again, when you're working within the same scene of your storyline, it's great to use a cross dissolve to blend two, two frames together. Excuse me to blink. See, I burped, I'll probably cut that out. So you, it's, <laughs> it's great to use a cross dissolve when you wanna blend two frames together. To use a cross dissolve effect, very similar to the same way that we use the fade to black, you wanna go over to the right hand side of the screen on Adobe Premiere Elements and you want to click on your transitions. Click on search at the top and type in cross dissolve. Here you'll find your cross dissolve transition. You want to drag that over and place it between the two clips that you want the transition to appear. This is the effect that you will get from the cross dissolve. We'll just press play on the timeline here and you can see it gently, it gently transitions from one clip to the other. Great to use when you need to do a cut within the same scene. A third favorite effect that I use is called the zoom in effect. I use this effect whenever I'm filming any action scenes. So if I'm snowboarding down a mountain or I'm in the bush and I'm mountain bike riding, I like to use the zoom effect for any fast action scenes. Uh, the zoom effect will do exactly as it says. will zoom through your first clip and into your second clip. So it kind of looks like the camera operator 
did a quick zoom when actually the software is doing that for you. So great effect to use on your fast action scenes is the zoom in effect. To use the zoom in effect, head over to the right hand side of your Adobe Premiere Elements program, click on your transitions, and then type in the search bar at the top, zoom. You will see here a couple options for your zoom effect. This is the one you wanna use here. So click on that and drag it in between your two scenes. Now, when you click on play, you can see the effect that it does between the two scenes and great to use for action videos. So the title of this video was my three favorite transitions, but today I think I'm feeling generous and I'm gonna give you a bonus two transitions that you can use in your filmmaking. They're not really transitions that you'll find inside Adobe Premiere Elements, but they're two transitions that I use in my videos often and I wanted to share them with you today. The first transition is a simple cut. Sometimes you don't want your audience to even realize that you switch scenes or sometimes during your filmmaking, you've done certain movements with the camera that you can lead from one scene to the next. In this example here, I'm riding my mountain bike down a jump. As soon as I hit the jump, I switch over to my drone and the drone flies up into the air. So this surprises the audience and they don't actually expect this to happen. And I didn't want to transition there. I want it to be a quick cut so that the user thought that all of a sudden I flew up into the air, even though I remained firmly planted on the ground and the DJI Mavic Pro went up into the air. So that's a great spot that you can use a cut. Sometimes in these videos here that I'm doing right now, I won't do a cross dissolve if I don't need to, if my head kind of stayed in the same position, I'll just do a quick cut to cut out something I said. The second bonus transition that I want to show you is a text transition. Sometimes I'll use text to fill in the audience on something that happened. Sometimes I'll use it to show them how much time has passed by. But using text with a black background is basically the same thing as having a transition. So the text that I use is just the general one. So head over to the right hand side of your Adobe Premiere Elements program. Click on your text button. Head up to the top and click on general. We don't want any of the motion ones, just the regular one. So here's the one that I use right here at the top. I'm just gonna drag this onto my timeline and use it between two clips. This way I'm using it as a transition because I'm taking the audience from one scene to the next with a black scene, similar like fade to black, but also having some information on it that I can lead the audience through my storyline. So those are my three favorite transitions with a couple bonus extras that you can use in your editing with Adobe Premiere Elements to take your videos to the next level. Thanks so much for watching today. Make sure you hit that like button if you learned something new, smash that subscribe button, and ring the little bell so you're notified when I upload new videos. And until next time, take it easy out there.